Now, what I want to do is I want to share this with you today. And I want to go to 333 Gaussian prime. 300, 333 Gaussian prime, third Gaussian prime is 49.19. Okay? And uh, 333 in base 19 is equal to 11.43 in base 10. And 11.43 is equal to 9 times 127. Okay? So this 49.19 is sort of like a, uh, a linchpin here that for this methodology that, that now we'll see how it actually comes back to the Quran. Okay. And it also happens to be 657th prime number. Okay. And 657 is equal to 3 times 3 times 73 and then a quick look at chapter 33, we notice that it has 73 verses. So with this, 49.19 actually generated two, two disparate uh, surahs, namely 9 and 33, okay? And told us that 9 has 127 verses and 33 has 73 verses, okay? And so now we come down a little bit and we find out that 657th, Composite happens to be 796. Okay. The same index of 4919 happens to be the index of this. And 796 actually is 2 times 2 times 199. And indices of these prime factors are 1, 1, 4, 6. And we know that chapter 114 in the Quran has six verses. Okay? So we generated another surah with this number of verses. But just like about half an hour ago, it dawned on me that I wanted to look at this 1146. And I never looked at it this way. One and one, you can't do anything. Because one and one, they are ne one is neither composite nor a, nor a prime number. One is just one, okay? So you don't count as a composite or a, or a prime. So one is just unity, okay? 46 happens to be a composite, but 46 happens to be, let me just draw it here. 46 happens to be the 31st composite. And 1131 is the index of prime number 9127. Can you imagine this? I mean, there we go. So no matter how you look at this, this is what it gives you. Okay. That 796 gives you so much information about the Quran. Okay? So anyway, so I'm going to come down a little bit more. And 49.19, how, how do we know we're talking about the Quran? 45.19 also happens to be the 114th Sophie Germain Prime. So we've known about this for a long time, about Sophie Germain Primes, but never looked at it in this context, really. Now we look at it now because we know a lot more. And so Sophie Germain prime Sophie Germain prime is when a prime, okay, prime P, as you see I just I just wrote this. Oops. But a prime P and 2P prime 1 are both prime. Okay. If that's the case, like 3, for example. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, so, so 3 is a, is a Sophie Germain prime. 2 is a Sophie Germain prime, because 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, 
So 5 is a prime, so 2 is a prime. 2 is a Sophie Germain prime. 5 is a, is a Sophie Germain prime because 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 is a prime. But 7 is not a Sophie Germain prime because 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 is 15 and 15 is not a prime number. So 2, 3, and 5 are Sophie Germain prime but not 7. Okay. 11 on the other hand is Sophie Germain prime because 11 times 2 is 22 plus 1 is 23 and 23 is a prime number. So, so how, that's how it works. Okay. But look at the beauty of this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. And every time God is mentioning this 9127, he always brings these other Quranic parameters, like the number of surahs, which is so important, because now we know that 3373 3, 3 is referring to the Quran. 22199, which is 114 and 6, is actually, uh, is actually, uh, Referring to the Quran, because chapter one fourteen has six verses. Okay, so we know these things, and and then with that in mind, we also see that this nine one two seven just keeps coming back up. Okay, this is how much God abhors these kind of mistakes and these kind of errors. It wants to tell us that that there is this underlying mechanism. So, like, for example, this 4919, which has so many roles that it plays, okay? And, and so, so the, the, the way to analyze this, let's just analyze it, okay? See, we, can we find another prime number that has these kind of properties, okay? These kind of properties, and, and still produces this kind of information about a book. Okay? Which basically you can, you can look for it forever and you can never find it. So that's the magnificence of the Quran. Okay? It's the beauty of it. And so as I said in the first, in the first uh, uh, unit, what we have to do is, we have to stick with the Word of God and make sure that we understand it. When He talks to us about timeless dimensions, we have to enjoy it. We have to appreciate it. That's what the beauty of the Quran is. Because Quran gives us extra information that we did not have before. And but but we have to do some self-sacrifice. Let's put it that way. Okay. We have to make some self-sacrifice on our part. Okay. To do God's word. To actually live by God's word. And we actually put it to practice. If we do that, then we are going to get closer to God and we're going to enjoy it. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. Okay? Again, I, wanna, I want to welcome this month uh, and, and, and uh, congratulate you on starting this, this uh, holy month. And as I said, it's so many different uh, coincidences here okay, that you have. Um, two coincident events that Friday actually became the first day of Ramadan, which we have this Juma, and then we have also the uh, uh, month of April is coinciding with the month of Ramadan. Okay, and so, so this is the beauty of it, and, uh, and basically we don't have to keep looking at the calendar. We just, you know, you count the number of days, and you know. Uh, how many days you did, and if you miss anything, it's very easy to, you know, April so-and-so, that's one day, and whatever, but anyway, inshallah, everything is going to be okay. So I'm going to stop here, and we'll finish our Juma Mahul <laughs>